Hi everyone, welcome back to a episode of Captain's Log. I'm not wearing my pirate hat today because um, that's for fun times. This isn't fun. Uh, yeah, something has happened. I'm going to tell you everything soon. Uh, something has happened and that's why I'm doing this vlog. I want to tell you because you are the ones that gets affected by this. And me, of course. Um, yeah, so basically, a few weeks ago, I was at the doctor, uh, leaving my blood samples in order for them to check if everything was okay. Just a regular check. My, yeah, check my basic, my basic stats and stuff like that. I don't know. And now, a few weeks later, I got a, I got a letter from my doctor where it says, I'm going to raw translate it here in, in, from Swedish to English. Your last blood sample showed a fasting glucose, glucose, fasting glucose value at 6.1. That is pre-diabetes. To prevent this from evolving to diabetes, I have wrote a recipe for yeah, some, some medicine. And uh, the ground is that you have to make major life changes you need to you need to consume more fiber along with the uh, raised physical activity recommended low calorie with low fat uh, food and uh, yeah physical activity average intensity you know pretty pretty intense walks and stuff like that uh, at least 30 minutes every day or 150 minutes every week. We plan to follow up this within, within a year. So, yeah, I got that. I got a blood sugar, blood sugar value of 6.1. And if I remember correctly, if I, 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 I looked it up and if I remember correctly, there was like a uh, few, uh, there was different zones within this. There is like, there is like risk zone one, two, and three, and then there is diabetes. Risk zone one has has a interval with values. I have six point one, which is the lowest value in the first risk group. So I am at the very lowest that you can be, but it's still a risk to get diabetes. So. Uh, yeah, that was like a wake-up call for me. I mean, my, my grandma had diabetes. She passed away two years ago, I think. Uh, not because of diabetes. She had diabetes almost her entire life. But uh, I think it has something to do with diabetes. Because it's a disease. I'm not a disease. I don't even know what to call it. It's a kind of, kind of disease, a sickness that I don't want to have because my grandma took shots before every meal every day of her entire life and as a person who hates shots you know the needles I certainly don't want to do that for the rest of my life and I'm I'm kind of embarrassed actually to have gotten to this point because when I was studying I I'm, I'm, I have been working since September 2017 that's when I that's when summer break was oh that's when I I took I, I graduated from you that you from the university in June 2017 then I got my first job September just the same year so I've been working since then and ever since I started to work I have been so bad both at good food and exercise when I was studying I I was actually very good. <laughs> I I remember when I started at the university, I I ran I used to go out and run Monday Monday and then I went to the gym Tuesday and then it was each and every day. So it was run gym, run gym, run gym like that. So I was pretty yeah, I was pretty not fit. I have I have never been fit in my entire life, but at least I was kind of thin, thinner than I am right now at least. 
I mean, I I I could wear my my basic clothes size was was large. I could use some medium sizes on clothing, but depend on the brand and stuff like that. But I I am light years away from having even having a even e- even being able to wear large sizes right now. And that's that's my own fault. I have not been working out or eating good food since I started working. Because I don't I don't simply think I have time for it. That's a very bad excuse. But that's how I that's how I have lived these two years. There is always time to work out. But I have especially especially when I started making YouTube videos, I have been wanting to get home from work and putting my ass into doing YouTube videos, <laughs> uploading content for you guys. Um and that has that has taken over all the time on my spare time because I don't I haven't got the time to exercise or I have not been I have not wanted to take time from my YouTube creationness and put it into my <laughs> exercise instead. But um that has to change from now on. <clears throat> That's the, and yeah, when when we moved into this this new apartment and I got my own office, I thought that wow, now I can finally be able to upload videos every day instead of every second day. And for a short period, I uploaded some videos every day. It was not a long period; it was just a few days, not even a week. And I and I realized. That it was kind of tough, but it was manageable if I really got the time for it. But there is always something that you have to do. We haven't. We still have the old apartment, so we had to clean it. We have to take away stuff. I I went to my grandpa uh, yesterday to leave my winter tires for my car. And that takes time. We we also took the time to change some of my some of my lights on the car. So. That was like an afternoon that went away. So there is not always I ma- I can upload videos every day. And now, now when I've gotten this letter as well, telling me that if I don't make major life changes, I will raise my chances to get diabetes. So now I have I have to change my life. I have to. I have to make a change. I can't continue as I have done these last two years. Two days before I got this letter, I was having a breakdown. Not a breakdown, but I, 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 I said to myself, "Okay, this is now. It's now. It's time for a change. I, I can't, con- I can't continue like this." And this was before I got the letter. So I went and bought six of these carton cartons. It's a low calorie diet. You're supposed to eat four four shakes, four shakes every day. So one of these lasts two days. So I have six of those. So I will eat I will eat these shakes for 12 days in a row. I mean I mean on my second day right now today. Uh, and then I got the letter, so I had to call my doctor and, and ask if I ke- could keep continue eating these shakes or if I should quit my diet this diet and uh, instead start to eat real food but good food like broccoli and beans uh potatoes carrots pea did i say peas beans and peas stuff like that but let's say no you can continue with that because it is it is actually a source of fiber and low fat and it's 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 a good kickstarter they said as well and that was also my idea of this i'm going to eat this for 2 weeks as a kickstarter you know to to make my make my stomach used to the fact that the, it that it doesn't get so much food so it's kind of shrinking which makes me not so hungry so i will eat less food once i eat food so i think it's a very good start so far i am i'm feeling good i have tried this stuff before and i have i have (laughs) i have been so hungry when i've done them but so far it's going quite well i think it's because it says here on the box 
that I need to drink at least two and a half liter water every day. That's like 2000% more than I used to drink on, on a day. I, I drink so little water. It's embarrassing actually. So I am actually forcing myself to drink a lot of water and I'm forcing myself not to eat the food that Josephine eats because she eats delicious food and I can't eat it. I just have these things. I've said to myself that every day when I get home from work, before I sit down at my computer doing YouTube, I'm gonna go out for a walk at least 30 minutes as it sets here on the recommendation letter from the doctor. So, I know that half an hour every day is probably not gonna affect my my YouTube channel. Because uh, half an hour, that's like, yeah, I can sit up in half an hour extra if I have to. And, uh, but certainly I will not be able to do one video every day. But I have not, I haven't done that since like the spring. This year. Yeah, I won't, yeah, I, since the spring. So you, you might not notice any difference on my channel because I will upload a video every second day at least. That is my goal. So I guess that's, uh, yeah, I guess that's everything I wanted to tell you. That I almost have diabetes. <laughs> almost. No, I'm not almost. I, I'm in the risk zone of getting diabetes. I am at the very lowest that you can be, though. But it's still, it's still a risk. It's st I'm still in the risk zone. So, yeah. It's a wake-up call. I'm not so happy about it, of course. I was pretty, pretty stunned. Pretty bummed for the rest of that day. Uh, but I am actually, I'm actually happy that I had these at home when I got the letter because now, now I f now I have, now I have th now I have something to fight for even more. You know, before I just wanted to do this because I wanted to lose weight and I wanted to look better than I do right now, and feel better. But now I actually have a goal. Like if I don't do this, I might get diabetes. So I, I, I have to do this. I mean, there, there is no option. There is no option. So yeah, now you know. So that's why I'm not wearing my pirate hat, because this was like a serious thing I wanted to tell you about. It's, uh, you know, it's never fun to get these, to get these kind of letters from your doctor. They never are. They're, they never are. But actually, I am. Uh, I am pre. I, I am though happy that I was at a such low level, and that they that and that the doctor didn't find anything worse than this. I mean, because I was at work, Josephine was home. She is the one that opened this letter, and she when she told me that, because she 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 called me, she texted me that I have gotten a letter from the. She, she called me and she texted me that I have gotten a letter from my doctor and then she called me on my work phone so I knew that there was something bad going on. <clears throat> and then uh, I called her back and she told me that uh, it was diabetes. My first thought when I saw that she had both texted me and called on both my phones I I thought the first thing that came up in my head was that okay I have cancer, that was the first thing I told her <laughs> I I thought, but <clears throat> so yeah I I am uh, I'm not happy about it but I am I am happy that it wasn't as bad as I thought because I knew that I was I was overweight that's 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 a fact that's not that's not even a secret. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this for another ten days. Then I'm gonna start eat real food. So far, I'm not cranky at all. But if I get cranky from this, then I guess I just have to say, "Hello, my cranky crew," or something. <laughs> Welcome to Crank Gameplays. Re real fans understand what I'm talking about. So yeah, I, I don't have anything anything more to say. I just want to tell you this because it's it's a big thing for me at least so uh, yeah i'm gonna I'm, i am keep that's oh, i have to say this i am gonna keep working on youtube 
nothing is changing about that. I am gonna... I don't think it's gonna be hard even, but I say that I am going to try to upload videos every second day. And I think that I will, I will with ease, make that. With ease, I think so. But if I don't do that someday, I am sorry. I have one video rendering right now, it's going up very soon. But this video will come up after that, so it will be it will be weird for you to hear this. But whatever. So, yeah, that's all I had to say right now. So thank you everyone. Uh, thank you everyone for being here, supporting me and my channel. Uh, and remember, I need you guys' help to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of January next year. Tell your friends. Tell everyone you know. Not everyone you know, but tell, maybe you have a sister who likes YouTubers or something, and you have, or have a brother or whatever, a cousin. I don't know. Tell them, tell everyone, tell them. Subscribe to Captain Luke at YouTube. So maybe we will reach the goal together. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching this. And uh, thank you for the support you're giving me. Even if you haven't commented so much. The, 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 the little support I get means a lot to me. So thank you so much for every, all the support that you give me. Yeah. I will, struggle on with, I will struggle on with my disease or my risk zone thing over here. So I will see you in my next video. So let's set sail and blah, blah, blah.